Guys, we're going to autocross number four in this vehicle so far. Number four, first two were ice racing events, and then uh, right now, second asphalt event. So, wait, how many we finished out before? Two? No, we didn't finish one. Okay. Because the car broke. Second ice, ice racing event, we didn't finish because the car right. broke down. But we made it home, anyways. So, this is a. Uh, a close to home event. We literally have like a 15 20 minute drive, which is always good. When you're late, it's always good. When you're late. And then, yeah, well, yeah, he's, he's late as usual, always late. Un 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 unbelievable, seriously. I'll stop it. So, we did the, the camber uh, modifications, it came out good. I mean, you gotta see it in, in real life. The wheels are like, you have. Some serious camber. Hopefully, it's not, it's not too much. What well, we did, we, we measured it yesterday, right? What was it? Uh, uh, three, three on your on your on your on your uh, okay. super super accurate device. Uh, three three point two, three point three. Yeah, three point two, three point three in the front. And negative. Then, uh, yeah. yeah, negative, obviously. Uh, and then uh, was it two point five in the back? I think we were 2.8 in the bag and something crazy yeah. number, you know. One, the front is very, it's almost exact uh, to each other and the rear is off, but whatever, you know, it's fine. It, it may be too much on one side, but uh, we took a thermometer, la laser thermometer, and we're going to measure the temperature of the tire. So the, the width of the tire, you want to measure, measure it in three points, outside, inside or center and then inside and if the temperature is the same across the board then you're doing fine you know right. if you have let's say this is the the right wheel if you're too hot on the inside then you have too much camber you know too hot on the outside not too enough. little camber yeah. yeah not enough so yeah and so on Ob you know it's kind of obvious yeah so literally with the car has been sitting for months for for half a year probably half a year probably just at least, at least five months yeah we never even washed it <laughs> we just took it inside yesterday we cleaned out the rotors uh, kind of you know we did refresh the, the brakes the the, the camper bolt uh, modification and we're driving it anyways guys we'll see you on the track guys Lucas is going first, kind of, you know, it's always quick, you know, limited time and whatever. We're not showing you the, the course, but it's, it's pretty fast, actually, kind of, for this kind of autocross. So, uh, we're just going to go get straight to, straight to driving. DNF, I missed one gate. Which one? Yes. Oh, okay. I went through here. So this is the course, guys. Hopefully you can see this. So a lot of slaloms, basically.
right, we got an issue we got to work on. We got to go to work. Oh, yeah, we got to go to work now. All right, guys, I'm working. Just race, work, rest. We have an issue which we're going to attend to during you know, the break time. But now I got to stand you know, out in this parking lot. So we gotta stand out here for 40 minutes or so, maybe longer. And uh, you know, whenever there's a cone knocked over, we gotta run to it and stand it up. And there's Lucas working also. All right, guys. Now we're gonna watch our buddy Paul in his white BMW. I think it's a 90. It's lining up right now so you can see the whole track what it looks like and then we're gonna it's a swap actually we're gonna look, look at it later on so there he is no zoom on this camera there he goes happy huh well, that was his first run so yes obviously he's gonna, he's gonna get better all right guys wanted to quickly talk about our issue as predicted the front left wheel the camber bolt well it was although it was tight it did move it gave us a bit of well still negative camber but it went you know plus half a degree for example but it didn't move as much because we welded on that extra lobe like this you know the size of the original bolt which is a good mod I, I must say I don't know how why they don't sell them like that already if it, it will still fit into, into the knuckle and through the strut so we need to modify it some more so there's no movement at all in the knuckle versus the strut you know the bottom side of the strut at all when both bolts are loose uh so far lucas's best is 56 what was it nine i don't know they, they messed up all the all the, t all the times i think my best is 57 or something okay my best was 56 8 if it's still accurate i don't know they they are not uh, no, no. very no. well coordinated over here all right guys we're gonna go eat See you later. Fuck yeah! 55! Nice! Take the best to last. I heard you dropped to 54s. Change being steady. Not a man, not a good, not a better than me. <laughs> Guys, my the main camera died, or not, didn't die, it ran out of memory, my fault. I don't know, kind of forgot. But we're gonna check out that BMW, the white one. What year is this? 1990. Oh, right, okay, I was right, 1990. And which, uh... 325 cases with S52 motor. The motor is from 98M3. 98M3 engine. Recent swap. Looks nice. Sounds good. No 
It's tight too. Look at the clearance on the fan. That is mighty close. See the trend over here? Yes, this is a BMW club. Go. Well, go well. How was your day today? How did it go? What, what do you think of the car? Hot. Car did good, guys. Besides the camera issue, well, not really an issue, but. Yeah, there you know, was an issue. Only it was one, a, year, one wheel. Yeah, pre pre predictable problem, which we anticipated, tried and fixed, but, uh, well, we kind of did, but we're still going to modify and we have an idea. But overall, you know, the next thing that we need is brake pads. We need better brakes. Tires. Yeah, and ty well, tires are good, but there are better tires. A lot of people were running Advent, uh, what was it, Yokohama? Yeah. No, uh, what were the tires? Yeah, Yokohama Ad Advent uh, tires. Yeah, those tires. Which are better tires? And Paul, his final, yeah, yeah 50, like high 53, yeah. 3.8, which I had a 55.4, 55.7. You know, not much difference there, you know, between two cars with probably a difference of 400 pounds, ours being heavier. His has a 230 horsepower. Yeah, Engine, yeah, swap. Ours has 150. I don't know. Ish. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> and he's running those tires too. The Advent tires were on the Falcon 615. Falcon 615. Zenith, whatever, 615K yeah. plus. They're good tires, but they're, you know, like I said, there are better ones out there. Anyways, guys, it was a good day. Car did good. No issues whatsoever. Well, like I said before, which was, was, it was our fault, not the car's fault. You still gotta finish the bumper, and then it's gonna get on. I mean, once we get it, get this get this thing registered, there's gonna be a whole lot of changes. We are, and we already have plans in our heads. You know, we're gonna weigh the car. We're gonna try and weigh the car as is stock. Remember, it still has air conditioning, all of it. We didn't remove any, none. Didn't even modify the filter, nothing, right? So we're gonna. Well, we did modify the exhaust. Being stock or, STI exhaust should yeah, should be fine. It's not even. Yeah, the catalytic, catalytic converter is still there. Anyways, we're going to weigh the car, what it weighs as of, as of now, and then we're going to just strip it from everything, whatever we can. We're going to take it away. All right, guys. And put ourselves on diet. You know, yeah. like 50 pounds or something. So. Yeah, and put Lucas on a diet. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, that's it, guys. We'll see you. Don't know when. In nine months. In nine months. See you.